Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. We are starting a brand new tutorial series which will be called Java. And what I'm doing is I'm setting up my workplace by clicking File, New, Java Project. Now this project panel is where we create a folder which will contain all of our classes and files. As you can see, I've already created this folder so I'm just showing you guys what to do. Once you do that, you just press Next. And what we are doing next is creating a class and it's going to be called hello world I have already created that and you guys can go ahead and click public static void main string I have already done this and that is why I get these things that I am deleting right now because they really do not matter that much now what this tutorial series will be about is how we can use Java to its fullest and as you guys can see that I'm trying to print out on the screen hello world and Java is recommending some code for us mainly based on the preferences um, based on what we use the most as you guys can see here we can check error we can close void we will be getting into all of that later in the later tutorials so make sure you put an apostrophe before you start typing in your text and make sure you add some semicolons after the parentheses and this is what the final product looks like hello world is printed out on the screen so what we are doing here is we are learning really the ins and outs of Java with this interactive PowerPoint slideshow now the reason why I chose this is I thought it would be cool and simple but I thought it would also be beneficial if we had some word element or lecture elements to this video and to all the videos um, inside this series so what Java is is Java is this massive massive environment which allows us to create a handful of different things and applications ranging from games to just basic program systems such as command prompt so you can do like a hello world you can which doesn't require any type of interface you can make windows or you can make mobile applications just like that with java enjoy so all of those will be explained in the coming tutorials just know that um if you want to learn java there are diff there are many 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 different subfields to it so the next thing that I want to really touch upon is what this slideshow or interactive part of the video will break down to. It will break down to a study guide, it will break down to really me giving you examples and then me empowering you to create your own application based on my requirements. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> so today you guys can all read I assume this is what our code will look like broken down to the bare bone essentials so I'm going to give you guys a second to really read and pay attention so that's enough you guys can um, go back and you could pause the video but I'm going to go through this really quick so we got the code above but now we want to know just how everything works. So public static, I mean public class, hello world. Well, that just, it's, it's basically telling Java what file that we're using. Um, enable, the little comments that I wrote out enables us to write comments. Think of comments as notes to yourselves. Anyone who may or may not want to work with your um, code will find this extremely useful for the simple reason that it tells them what you are going for in your comments. And another thing that you want to um, be very aware of is you want to leave brief comments so everyone is on the same page as you. So make sure that a comment is like globally understandable. So yeah, 
public class hello world is in hello world is the name of the file that we're using system dot out system out print line tells Java to print something in this case that something is hello world the reason why we put apostrophes is to let it know that we are working with strings and it prints out hello world numbers and variables can also be printed we will be explaining what those are in the next tutorial you can also type in system dot print as long as you follow the same syntax that I have available so have fun try all that and get ready for the problem set because we're about to dive right in my friend we are about to dive right in make sure you add like subscribe comment down below this is Henry 1502 and get ready problem set number one okay so think of a problem set as a challenge what I'm going to be asking you guys is how can you create your own um, hello world application or name it whatever you want to call it but basically the essentials is you have to print something out on the screen according to um, the requirements that I have given you once you meet those requirements you can really print anything you want on the screen so take some time and look through it you can pause the video before playing make sure you read it and truly analyze what you are about to read and the contents inside of them so what are the requirements honestly the requirements are pretty easy you must print out a statement to your boss explaining why you are late you were or are currently running late 30 letter word limit space counts also also you must print out your name first and last whatever username whatever you want to go by any YouTube channels that you own and use the time including a.m. and p.m. so 1 p.m. 2 p.m. 7:30 p.m. Um, and the date you completed it so today it's June 10th 2013 so time and date rate the level of difficulty of this problem set and while you're at it I am going to also ask all of you guys to be creative because I really want to post um, the best answers and make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter page this is Henry 1502 Inc. add like subscribe comment down below I'm out